So one thing I really wanted to do before I call the restoration of the Model 19 complete is add the motor stop feature. Fingers, stop. Turn that one off. That one unfortunately doesn't have that feature so it continues to work. So we have it on the 15 but not on the 19 and so I took the printers off of both the 15 which is here which has a feature the 19 here which doesn't have the feature and when we went to Mr. RTTY um, we asked him if he had the kit didn't you want to ask him about the motor stop modification oh yeah true you wouldn't have, that, to have a modification kit to add motor stop to a model 15 would you might. So I was expecting like, no, it's, it's an option, so you have a kit and some instructions to do it. But no, 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 there's no such thing. He went patiently after the list of parts. He found you know, all the part numbers in the manual. And we think we hunted them all. And then we spent yet another hour finding uh, the three springs, two brackets, and all the screws and washers we could find. With the page of the hieroglyphics here that tells you how it works, and of course no explanation of how you put it all together. However, since the Model 15 has it, you can tell the difference. So there's a whole assembly on the side here, and that is very easily identified. That's this one. And over here, I can see that's this. This one here, I think, is this fellow, and it selects when it's a shift H. Actually, I could tell. It's this one, right there. Right there, it comes to the front, which made me super nervous because I thought I had to dismantle the machine to get it in. But if you look at this, no, 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 there's a little U-shaped thingy and there is a little there you go there are little slots and I'm holding the camera I'm trying to put the part at the same time which is probably not the easiest thing to do uh, but I managed to do it before there you go and it just fits in without unmounting anything and what holds it down is I think this big spring here this part and this part as you can see it man it's just it's to scale so it's obviously this one and I can see it here is this fellow and it looks like it has a u-shaped thing too so I think it's just well I think I know because I tried it a second ago so if I it just goes like this goes in the slot and you push it in and same thing there's a spring that will hold it so let's put all my parts in and see how that works so let's see if we can make it work with one of these tools um, and I'll edit all of the cursing out if I run into trouble Ending, but yeah, 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 yeah. I think I got it. If I manage to put that in, there. So I have the spring right here. To this, oh, all the way out here. Got it. All right. So next we will do this fellow piece. So for this one, it looks like I need to remove the uh, uh, start-stop mechanism, whatever, it's, just, it's another name, I can't remember. Yeah, right there. Wait a second. Needs to grab onto something. Needs a little extension here. 
which I have over here, and it's this guy. Uh, hopefully that's one of the brackets I have. Yes, that's this one. Alright, so that's the first thing I need to put right here. Taking this screw off because this is where my, my little extension bracket will come in. Uh, made me a little nervous because that is one of the critical adjustments it holds I don't know if you can see it but there's a little wedge there's a little wedge below this which is adjusted to be caught by that little you know, pointy thing and there's a very tight clearance of 8 milli inch to 12 milli inch that you have to adjust. So in order to do the alignment I need a, a set of gauges. This one is a 10... If it could focus the 10 mils. Right here. And the gauge doesn't, so I'm a little too close here. That's a little too much. And this is one of the toughest alignment I had to do. Your head can barely go in, so I'm good. Phew! Alright, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out how to adjust the the grabber here so it, it gets hold of the armature correctly. So you have to put it in shift. And that's how I did it. And then you have to put the combination for H because Shift H engages the thing, uh, which you do manually by moving through the cycle here. At some point, you can actually move this so it's space, space mark space and this has to be also a space on the universal there you go and what happens is that you have to untighten these and adjust it see if i can redo it there you go and that's what you want to see uh, about 25 mils of space right here between this and that when it's in trying to latch it and I have to make sure it the latches correctly there you go that's the space the start a bit and then eventually you get mark a stop bit and it the latches so my expectation is that I'm now correctly adjusted so next are the contacts there's one that goes here and another one that goes there. Okay, and these are the contacts where it's supposed to go. And you can see that by default they are shorted together. And now they'll have to go through both of the contacts uh, to make the motor work all right so we got the short out now we need to put our new wires And that should implement our motor stop function. Letters. Okay, I haven't broken anything there. And now, figure eight. 
that didn't work. Scissors. H. It got to stop it. I should have stopped the motor, but it didn't. Um, it's open here. And it's open there. I have an inkling of what's happening. This is the connector that's in the base. This is the motor, so we just removed the short that's not written in here, but here it's as if there was also a short in the base. Uh, so let's open up the base and see if that's the problem. Yeah, and yes, there is a short right here. See if we can do a quick and dirty thing and I just cut, cut it. So, that should be good. Let's put it back together and try it again. Yeah, this is, I already know it works because this is in stop. And here the only one that will restart is brake. So that works. And then I have to put it back in. And then H will stop it. And brake will restart it. Let's try to see if we can H. Yay, they both stop. And the tree starts to go well. Okay, so I think I made it work. When the 19 came, it had no glass on it whatsoever, uh, but fortunately, the 15 had its original broken glass. Uh, it's actually laminate glass there's a film of plastic between two panes of glass that's why it hasn't completely shattered so we were able to take the dimensions from this one and uh, remake new glass uh, we made it in safety glass but uh, re reproduce the the wedge so you can you can cut the paper on it and then i'm missing the rails i have the glass but i'm missing the rails and i'm not well equipped at all for sheet metal here so we'll do metal with a paper shear one two three go We're missing this. That's easy to do. I can put a piece of plexiglass.
pretty fight. Guys, I think we've done it. It's completely restored, everything works, and all that's left to do is a demo in its restored state. But in the meantime, I can use the latest feature and turn it off by doing fingers H. Ah, 